Shalom, shalom. Uh, first off, all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai, by Hashem Racha HaKadash. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. And shalom to the hopeful elect brothers and sisters, all right, the few sisters um, that believe in this word and that fear in the names of Yahweh by Yahweh Shai. And um, yeah, I just wanted to go through this right here. Uh, interesting finding. I uh, came across in my, uh, you know, language study of the uh, the Congolese language of Lingala. And um, the elder Apostle Gabar goes into the Italian and he talks about um, the different words that are used to uh, for direction, you know, to, to, to uh, imply direction uh, in, in Italian. Right now, one of the words he said was sinestro, which goes uh, uh, Italian, uh, Spanish, Portuguese. Um, what is this? Uh, French. Was it Italian, Spanish, Portuguese, uh, French? They are all uh, Latin languages. They call them Romance languages because they all span from the Latin. So I wanted to get this real quick and then we're going to look at how direction is implied in the Congolese language of Lingala, which um, the majority of the uh, people of the Congo are Israelites. Okay, they're Jake and now uh, that central part of Africa, you know. Um, and then we're going to get some scriptures, man. Um, this is a uh, sinister, right? I got the word sinister. It says prompted by malice or ill will. Intending to mislead, right? And what what comes to mind is the scripture where where the where um Micah Ah the prophet he saw a vision of the Most High sitting on his throne, right? With all the hosts of heaven gathered together on his left hand, on his right hand, right? And on his left, so the right hand represents righteousness, and the left hand represents uh, evil, uh, wickedness. Right. So the Lord controls both sides. OK, the good and the bad. OK, the righteous and the wicked. OK, he can he controls the angels and the demons, Satan, man. You know, Satan's a son of the most high on the left hand. OK, it says prompted by malice or ill will intending to mislead from old French sinistre, 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 uh, Contrary, false, unfavorable to the left, right? It says from Latin, sinister, or sinister, you know, it's spelled like sinister, but sinister, uh, left, right? On the side, on the left side, right? It says opposite from Dexter, right? Which we're going to get Dexter too. So, you know what, real quick, um, you know, and one thing that our apostles, um, apostles uh, teach us that's very key and important is the meaning of words. The meaning of words. You cannot understand the scriptures without understanding the meaning of words. And yes, you have to get into the Hebrew and into the Greek, right? And then into in, into the Latin to understand these different meanings of words, man. And go into the etymology dictionary like we're doing now, right? Now let's get this. Uh, this definition for sinister that they use here. Um, sinister. There's even a uh, movie called uh, Sinister. Yep. There it is. There's a movie called Sinister, you know, dealing with, you know, uh, demons and whatnot. Right on the left hand. Now we want to get the definition, though. So the definition of sinister, it says, given the impression that something that something harmful or evil is happening or will happen. Right. So the Lord can bring evil upon people by way of what? The left hand spirits, man. It says archaic um, heraldry. It says of, on or toward the left hand side. It says in a coat of arms. From the bearer's point of view, i.e. the right as the as it is depicted. Right. So 
something harmful or evil, right? Right? Uh, evil or or productive of evil. Right? So the Lord has evil angels, man. Right? Now, and the Lord has uh, certain people who are sinister, man, that he uses for evil. You know? To, to bring evil, man. So, uh, let's go back to it real quick. Sinister. It says what? Now, the opposite of Dexter. Now, this is all in the uh, the Latin. Which Dexter means... Uh, let's get it. Or this is the word dexterity. We're going to get the word Dexter. Right? Dexterity is uh, how uh, having that power in the right hand. Um, it says... Uh, Dexter, masculine proper name from Latin Dexter on the right hand. So sinister, uh, sin uh, sinister is on the left hand. Dexter is on the right hand. Right? You got that uh, that TV show called uh, here. We can look it up real quick. We got that TV show called Dexter. Dexter, uh, let me see here. Dexter. Right, Dexter. Which this guy, uh, you know, he puts. He, he's basically a uh, what you would call a, uh, a so-called serial killer, right? But hey, really, he he he's what a, uh, a a spirit of vengeance when you watch the TV show, man. Right, Dexter, the right hand on the right hand. Right, the Lord using him as a hitman. Right, and see, look, look at this right here. You can see they kind of painted uh, blood around him, like a uh, 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 angel. Right in the shape of wings, Dexter on the right hand. See, you know, people who make these different TV shows, they know the meaning of these different words that they name their shows, man. Right. So he's a spirit of vengeance, an angel. Uh, the Lord put the spirit on him to to to, to uh, do people in, man, to uh to to kill them. You know, spirits of vengeance, Dexter on the right hand. Right now, here, let's go back. Let's go back to there real quick. Right? So dex means right and opposite of left. Okay, or, or south. Right? It says uh see Dexter adjective and compared to Benjamin, right? Benjamin is Bunyamian, son of the right. Right? So there you go. So you got sin sin sinister and Dexter on the right hand and on the left hand in the Latin, right? And uh, I made reference to the uh, the scripture in First Kings uh, chapter twenty-two. Now check this out. As I was, um, I came across this a minute ago, and I finally decided to uh, actually, you know, the spirit hop on me to do a lesson concerning it. But now, um, as I was, you know, looking into and studying different uh, words in the Congolese language of uh, Lingala, right, which is a language they use in Congo. Whenever, if, you know, if any brothers uh, may be from, uh, uh, you know, uh, Africa, were born in Africa, they, they would uh, recognize a lot of the uh, Congolese singers and, and dancers, which are really popular all over Africa. Everybody listens to their music. You know, you go to a Jake party from uh, Jake's from West Africa. You always have Congolese music uh, in that playlist that they would be dancing to, you know, just to give a little insight on that. Right. So here um, it talks about indicating the direction of left and right. Now, check this out. This is very interesting. This is indicating left and right. Learn the Lingala language. It says 
indicating left and right uses an interesting combination of words because a you know certain languages they don't translate exactly or they don't refer to things the same way as we do in English you know that's why you can lose the uh, um, the what is it you can lose the force of what something means in a particular language when you translate it over you know real quick because you know we want to get scriptures let's let's go to it real quick we're gonna go to the preface of the book of Sirach right because you know um this particular brother right here tried to you know the son of uh Yahawashai, grandson of Yahawashai, I should say I think his name is Yahawashai also not not the Lord which you know Yahweh is a common name. He's right here. He says, My grandfather Yahweh, when he had much given himself to the reading of the law, he's not talking about the Lord. This is before the Lord, right? Which Yahweh means what? He is deliverer. Uh, Joshua, okay, that's Joshua. His, na his name, his true name in the Hebrew is Yahweh, right? Um,. Now let's let's get this right here. Uh, I just want to get to the point. It says, um, it says, wherefore let me entreat you to read it with favor. So he's talking about the 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 uh, the book of the law, you know. It says to to read it with favor and attention, and to pardon us when we may seem to come short of some words. Which we have labored to interpret. So he, he he with labor tried to interpret these words um to uh this of, of the making of this book, translating this book. You know, and his father created, you know, had writings um on how to uh better uh execute and live by the law. You know, uh, of wisdom, you know, books of uh, wisdom, man. It says, wherefore, let me entreat you to read it with favor and attention to pardon us wherein we we may seem to come short of some words which we have labored to interpret for the same things uttered in Hebrew and translated into another tongue have not the same force in them. Right. So Hebrew is the language of the heavens, the language of the angels, the most high, the Lord, right? Which they, they are on the, the higher, the highest uh, uh, realm, you know, the spiritual realm, right? Which is higher than this one. So Hebrew is the strongest language and the most powerful language on the earth. Okay? So translating from Hebrew to another language, it takes, it loses its strength. That's why, you know, a brother's, a if you know, you should learn how to how to pray in Hebrew, you know, because this is it's even uh, more powerful. Not to say that the Lord won't hear your prayers in English, but you should learn how to say some prayers in Hebrew also. You know, plus Hebrew is is our is our tongue. It's our uh, uh, father tongue, man. This is our language. OK, that the Lord has had our people to uh, um, retain, man. You know, and the Lord restored our language back to us. The true, the true language, man. And we believe it by faith that this is the true way to speak the Hebrew, man. OK, the way that we were taught by the elders and apostles that they were taught by their elders, man. OK, it says. Um, it says, and not only these things, but the law itself and the prophets and the rest of the book. So he was talking about this uh, book of Sirach. Okay. And the rest of the books have no small difference when they are spoken in their own language. Right. So a hey, different languages will, will say they will refer to the same thing in existence. Okay. In their surroundings. They will. They'll, uh, let me say in existence because you can also be referring to ideas. But they'll they'll um, refer to the same 
things in existence in different ways. Now, this is what we're about to look up here, right here. So, right, it says, indicating left and right uses an interesting combination of common words, of course, in Lingala. It says right here, loboco, right, as you can see, used uh, for both, used for both means hand, right? So, loboco means hand. It says, mobali means man right and mwasi means woman right so on the right is um naloboko ya mobali it says literally means on the hand of the man and on the left nam loboko ya mwasi translate to on the hand of the woman so this is how they say left and right. They use the man for right for the right. Right on the on the right hand, right? Or on on the uh on the hand of the man, which is is the right, and on the hand of the woman, which is the left. Let you know what? That A. They understand that men are one uh, uh above women, you know, right? To, uh, the person who's on the left hand doesn't have the same status of him on the right hand. Look at our Lord Yahawashai. He's on the right hand, right? Satan, Satan's on the left, but Satan has to answer to the Lord, right? Right. Same thing. Hey, hey, men are, you know, supposed to be righteous, man, right? But hey, women are women are wicked, man. The majority. Of women are just straight wicked, man. And we're going to get scriptures on that. Right? So, they use the man for, for the right and the woman for the left, man. You know, the man, righteousness, and the woman, wickedness, man. You know? Now, there are going to be women that are going to receive mercy. The elect woman. Okay? Which is uh, very few out of the whole uh, majority of women. Okay? That are going to receive salvation, right? But to the rest, hey man, the woman, hey, let's 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 get the precepts, man. Right? I found that very very interesting, man. How a man, the man, is referred to the right righteousness, and the woman's referred to the left, man. You know, you know, just how uh, it would be in um, you know. Uh, let me see here. We're going to get the precepts. Oh, yeah. Over here. So, it was Ecclesiasticus chapter 7, verse 29. It says, Lo, this only have I found that the Most High made man upright, but they have sought out many inventions. Right. So man is supposed to be righteous and upright. Right. Was it not Eve that took heed unto the surface and did wickedness first and then brought it to the man? Right. He did, hey, hey, the serpent didn't come to the right man. He didn't come to the man because, you know, he, he wouldn't be able to budge. He came to the woman and then the woman came unto the man. You know, and these, hey man, these women are are are, are freaking uh, uh, gateways to Satan, man. Satan can hop on them at any time, man. Right now, let's get this also. This is uh, Ecclesiasticus chapter twenty-five, verse nineteen. It says, "All wickedness is but little to the wickedness of a woman. Let the portion of a sinner fall upon her." Right, so a. Hey, these a and a, a the, the so called nigger woman the N dub, you so called Israelite woman man a though a the Lord is Lord has already been opening up judgment on you man and there's gonna be even more judgment coming down on you man right the Lord the Lord is gonna put a lot of women to death right he's gonna send those sinister spirits to to uh, 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 to, to to mess you up man. Them death angels to get at you, man. You know? So, hey, just wanted to do a, uh, 
a uh, quick uh, video on that. Hey, man. You know, hey, uh, women bring forth wickedness, you know. Hey, and, and men are, are meant to be upright, man. You know, so with that, I'm going to say Shalom.